Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Today is November 13th, the day after Veterans Day weekend. I had a really great weekend spending time with my family, celebrating Cash's first birthday, but I'm back at work ready for the grind. I decided to try and pick up my camera this week and vlog for you guys. A lot of you said, you don't care what I vlog, you just want me to vlog. So. Here I am. Um, I brought my own coffee this morning. It's just black rifle coffee with a little bit of soy creamer. I really like the taste of soy creamer. I think it's a little bit sweeter. I'm all prepped and ready for this week, so all I'm gonna do this morning is just make sure that I have everything kind of cleaned up and ready for the day. I need to change my schedule. I need to change the date on the board, and then just double check, make sure everything's ready. This week in math, we are reviewing all things fractions. And I believe today we're starting with, well, let's go see, shall we? Oh wait, there's nothing happening on Monday because we weren't here. Tuesday, we are going to be working on something. Oh, I have to copy for math, that's right. Um, in literature this week, so in reading, we're working on comparing and contrasting stories in a series. And I got this cute little, resource from Common Core Kingdom. And we've been really enjoying the stuff from Common Core Kingdom because it has like text for the kids to read and then it has questions for them to answer. But we like that they have to go back and highlight using colors. So it keeps them really engaged. Uh, but yeah. So today I think for math, we are gonna be working on equivalent fractions. And then tomorrow, we're gonna do fractions on a number line followed by comparing fractions. And then on Friday, they will take their fractions test and then next week we will start on data and measurement. So that's exciting. Um, what else? I don't know, I don't know what else is exciting. Um, I don't have my planner with me, I left that at home. Uh oh. Uh, that's okay. I don't really think that there's anything that pressing going on today. I think last week and the week before that was more stressful. I had like four IEP meetings and then like a red meeting. Oh, I know I have a red meeting on Thursday. Red is a review of existing data. I wanted to show you guys this new inbox system that I have going on. So I have this um, bin here and I'm trying not to get my kids names in it, but I have all my kids names there on their own separate file folder. So what I've had them do is um, instead of just throwing their assignments in a box, I have them come and turn their assignments into their own personal file. That way I can go through at the end of each day and pull out the assignment that I wanna grade and I can really see who has turned it in and who is missing it. Then I come over here, well I usually take this with me, but I fill out this little missing worksheet and I just write the title of the assignment, the due date, which is usually the day that it's done or passed out. And then I just write down whoever is missing and it's usually the same four people. But I really like this system because my students can see what they've already turned in and what they need to finish. There's also a folder in the back that's called extra copies. And I have instructed my students to, if they are wondering what is due for the week, they can go back in this folder and look at all of the extra copies of assignments that, because I always make like four extra copies for people that lose them or for my students that won't do their work. If they decide that they want to lose their assignment, I have an extra one for them. So I told my students, if you're unsure about what is due or if you want to make sure that you have everything turned in, because I usually give my students until Friday to turn everything in, because then I, I don't grade until about Friday. Um, then uh, they can go look in that folder to see what needs to be turned in. So that has been working really well. The kids like it and it is actually really nice for grading because I can just go through each file folder, pick out the assignment, mark it that it's there, and then I can you know, keep track of who has turned things in a little bit better. Enough babbling. I'm gonna go make copies and then I will report back promptly. Hey guys, so I just got back from the copier and I'm just sitting down because I need to unload my food, my breakfast. Um, I've been working really hard on improving my eating 
I am a bad, I have a bad habit of eating like convenient foods. So like going through Starbucks and getting breakfast there or eating the breakfast that's served in the classroom, that's no good for me. So I've been doing better all last week. I did a really good job. The week before that, I did a really good job. And then this week I'm gonna try and combine diet and exercise and try to do my four full days of workouts. So I'm just uh, drinking a protein shake and this is just the Orgain protein from Costco. It's the chocolate one. And then I also combine it with the superfoods from Orgain. I think I got those at TJ Maxx, which is really funny, or Home Goods, but I'm pretty sure they have that at Costco as well. And then I put a little bit of collagen in here as well and just water, ice water. And then I've been making myself two eggs in the morning to go with that. And then I've been taking this vitamin and it's called 5-HTP. And I don't suffer with like anxiety or like anything like that. Like sometimes I'll have like weird anxious thoughts or like things will go through my head that are like scary or like things that I worry about happening even though I know that they would probably never happen. But I also have a hard time sleeping at night and I usually have to take melatonin and I don't know. I don't know. But my mom takes this and she gave it to my nephew because he was having a lot of anxiety and depression. I'm not depressed. I don't suffer from depression. Um, but this is supposed to support your mood and stress level. And it promotes a calm and relaxed mood, helps reduce occasional anxiety, is 100% drug free. Um, it's time released and it's non habit forming. And what you do is you take one of these in the morning with food and then one at night with like your dinner. And I have noticed that it has really helped me with my sleep, it's helped me with my anxious thoughts, and it's helped me with my appetite. Like ever since starting to take it, I've lost like five pounds. I don't know if you can tell right now because all this last weekend I was like gorging on carbs but when I was taking this the last two weeks, I haven't even like wanted to eat carbs or like wanted to eat anything bad. So I've been taking this and it's been working really well and it's just a vitamin. It's not like anything fancy. Um, so I'm going to take that. And then I'm going to eat my breakfast while I check my emails. I'm gonna eat my eggs. And I know I don't have any like pressing emails because I get them on my phone too because they're connected through Google. And I'm gonna show you guys what I brought for lunch. I brought some of these rice cakes, some turkey or some uh, cheese and salami, and then a little bit of yellow mustard. And I'm just having that for lunch. I have almonds and banana chips here at school. So those are like my healthy snacks. And guys, I haven't been to the grocery store in two weeks. We've been riding on what's in our fridge. And let me tell you, it is time to go to the grocery store. So I'm gonna do that probably today, but our house is also a disaster from the birthday party. So we'll see what happens first. Probably gonna do grocery store tonight and then clean house tomorrow. Forgot my watch at home. I also have duty this morning and it's, let's see how cold it is outside. It's cold for Phoenix, okay? It's 45 out right now and today's high is 68. And when you're used to it being 80 degrees, 90 degrees, uh, 60 degrees is cold. And um, I'm used to Prescott and it's, cold there like I think it's in the 60s all day every day there now but when you go from 80 90 to 60s it's cold I also need to put a little bit of makeup on because I did not do that at home I slept in 30 minutes and I'm totally happy with that so I just used this BB powder from Physicians Formula and it covers up my redness really well By the way, the lighting in this classroom is horrible. Good enough. I have duty in 30 minutes, so I'm gonna try and get as much done this morning as possible before it's time to go out. I'm gonna make a to-do list. Since I don't have my planner with me, I can't do it in my planner. But 
I'm gonna start one here. So last week on Monday, I don't know if you guys remember from my Instagram, but Cash was actually sick and I had to stay home and it was like totally not expected that I was off work. So I had to call in for an emergency sub and there wasn't one available. So I had one of my colleagues come in and teach my class in the morning and then they had to split my class in the afternoon. So we decided as a staff that we would rather have our students split into 10 different classrooms, 10 different classrooms, than split into three separate grade level classrooms because it's a little bit overwhelming for a teacher that has 32 students or 30 students getting eight more. It's just really hard. So we decided that instead we would split our classes into um, groups of three and then disperse them um, and then have like, we would have like a bucket of emergency sub plans for those students of things of work that they can take with them. So um, one of my things on my to-do list is to prepare emergency sub plans and split lists so that if at any time a sub were to not show up or not be available um, or if I have an emergency day where I have to take a day off and like things aren't prepped as as good as they should be for a sub that someone can just someone from my team can just pull that box and distri distribute everything that's in it and it's like nothing that needs to be taught it's all stuff that's just independent practice, things that they can work on, um, a list of things that they can do for the day instead of being here in the classroom. Good morning, guys. It is a Wednesday. Sorry for the really atrocious angle, but I really need to vlog. I really need to vlog this morning so that I can jeez this morning because I just need to. So it's Wednesday morning, it's 7-11, and I am barely getting to my halfway mark on my morning commute to work. This is going to be story time, so it might be a little bit long, so hang in there. So yesterday, Tuesday morning, I went to start my car, and we have two Toyota RAVs. We have a 2011 and we have a 2017. So I went to start the 2011 and the car wouldn't start. So I ran inside, I told my husband, we traded keys and I had to take the car seat out of this car, which is the 2017, and, um, and then I took this car to work with me yesterday. So then we came home and last night, Scott and our neighbor, they jumped the 2011 and it got work, it was working, it started, and so I was positive I was gonna be able to take it to work today. So then this morning, I got I got in the car, the car started just fine, and then I took it to the gas station because it was out of gas. As soon as I was done filling up and I went to drive away, the car would not start. So I'm sitting there going, oh my gosh, I'm stuck at the gas station. I call Scott, he doesn't answer. He's still in bed sleeping, so I'm sure he just didn't hear his phone. I call my next door neighbor, Christina. She doesn't answer. I call her fiance, Steve, he answers. I have jumper cables, so I asked a stranger. I was like, hey, can do you know how to jump start a car? And he was like, oh yeah, let me try. So then I got a hold of my neighbor. She's like, well, let me come down and just make sure that you got, you know, that you got jumped. I need to get coffee anyways, whatever. So my neighbor shows up. This guy's jumping my car. We get my car jumped after like 20 minutes of messing with it. We get my car jumped. And then as I'm, cause I had already decided, okay, well if the car is acting like this, I'm not driving an hour to work. Cause what happens if something happens on the way there? So I drive home to trade cars with my husband and my gas pedal, like the car is on and it's moving, but my gas pedal is not working. So I literally coasted all the way home from the gas station. Luckily it was like less than a mile away. The gas station's like right on the corner of our neighborhood and my neighbor followed right behind me. So I was like in the turning lane. Um, there's like a middle, you know, the middle lane where you can turn left and right. Um, 
I was coasting into that middle lane the whole way home. Coasted. Um, now, mind you, my car is full of gas, but the gas pedal won't work. So I get home. I told my husband what happened. I have to take the 2017 to work today. I'm going to have to go buy a battery because I'm pretty sure that's the problem. After school, whatever. So I get in this car and I start driving away and I get down to like, I don't know, the next street. And I realize that I have the car seat and Scott has the baby today. So if anything were to happen, like, and there was an emergency, even if the car didn't start at home, he could at least borrow the neighbors or like call an Uber. He wouldn't have a car seat. So I had to turn around and go home and get the car seat, put it in the garage and then leave. So by the time I left my actual house, it was like 6.30, which you would think, okay, leaving 30 minutes later isn't that bad. But listen, like I've said before, if I don't leave at 6 a.m., I will be stuck in traffic forever. And that's exactly what just happened. I was stuck from, so from point A to point B is halfway. From my house to the freeway is halfway for me. It took me 35 minutes, which it usually should only take me about 15 to 20. It took me 30 minutes. And now I'm getting on the freeway, which is from B to C. I don't know how the freeway is gonna look. It's probably gonna be packed. I had to call or text my principal and let him know that I had car trouble and that if I'm late to work, my teammate, my next door neighbor, Kayla's gonna pick up my class and he's like, oh, that's fine, like, make sure you drive safe, whatever. So now I have to go buy a car battery and guys, I don't get paid until next week and my husband and I have separate accounts, so I don't know how I'm gonna buy a new battery. Uh, and Thanksgiving's next week, so it's like car battery, turkey. Car battery, turkey. This is the struggle, guys. I do not get paid enough for this kind of crap to happen in my life. He will probably split, split the cost of the battery with me. That's a no-brainer. We both use the car. But still, it's like the whole, the whole mess. Just a mess. One thing right after the other. So luckily, I don't have any meetings this morning. I do have a meeting tomorrow morning. And then I do have an after school evening event tomorrow. I have to take cash to the babysitter tomorrow morning. It's just one of those weeks again. This is the soup from the cafeteria. Mushroom bisque. Although I really want <laughs> what Kayla's eating. Mm. What did you call it? Egg roll in a bowl? Yeah. What's in it? Well, I did ground turkey. It said to do ground pork, but. Did you follow a recipe? I did, I'll send it to you. Okay! <laughs> I also have some meatballs that we made last night. And some spinach. <laughs> Ooh. And I brought this. Oh, that's my favorite one. Some Caesar dressing. You have quite the. I do have quite the selection. I, you do. Look at your little cuties over there. So substantial. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch time today. Exciting. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Can you believe I've actually picked up the camera almost every day at school this week? So I wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that I'm planning on doing next week for Thanksgiving. Okay, so I'm just going to go through all of the stuff that I have ready to go for next week and just share with you the plan. So next week, we are going to be working on data collection and um, we're going to be focusing on bar graphs and pictographs. So I've decided to try and tie Thanksgiving into that and do the all famous Thanksgiving graphing. So I found this on Teachers Pay Teachers from the Schoolhouse Diva and it's a free one. 
And basically what you do is you graph the class's favorite Thanksgiving dish. So this will be a bar graph that we create. We're gonna do tally and frequency stuff in addition to bar graphing. And then I like how it has these really awesome questions on the back that are totally standard aligned with third grade um, standards. And then I also found this picture and bar graph. This one isn't exactly Thanksgiving themed, but I figured we could use all kinds of Thanksgiving data um, once we've learned everything. So I found this cute little thing from Teachers Pay Teachers, and then these are just my vocabulary cards from TPT. I printed them out, and then I, I've been deciding, well, and I make a kid a copy. I make each kid a copy of the words, but I shrink them down so they're smaller, and then they glue them into their math vocabulary books. And then I have this map or this Thanksgiving scavenger hunt activity that I got from Super Teachers. And if you don't use Super Teachers, you need to. So there's just a bunch of like informational fact cards and I just glue them around the room. And then I did it with Halloween, but I put all of the numbers on an orange piece of paper, crumbled them up, threw them into the middle of the room. And then the kids had to like go from answering the question to the floor to pick up to find out which card they were going to next. So it was a little bit more engaging, a little bit more movement involved. So we'll probably do this on Wednesday. And it also covers the standard asking and answering questions on informational text because it comes with a question sheet and they have to obviously read the card to answer the question. So that's like a super simple cute thing. And then I've been using this for years. It's the paper bag book. I need to go buy the paper bags probably this weekend. I'll show you one that I've kept forever. That's done. It looks like this at the end and uh, on the inside. So they have all different options for the pages, but um, basically inside you glue like what you're thankful for and then you write it, you draw it. And then at the very back, there's like all different pages in the back. You just start listing things that you're thankful for. And then it's like a cute little make and take thing they can take home and show their parents and it's super cute. And then I found all of these different reading pieces from ReadWorks. And we're just gonna use these throughout the week because this, because the week before Thanksgiving is such a short week, we only have Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And Wednesday is pretty much a short day because we have the turkey trot as well. So we really only have two days of instruction. That's why we decided to do more of like a spiral review using Thanksgiving themed items to keep it more fun and engaging for students rather than focusing on like, here's one standard, this is a skill. We're gonna do more just like reviewing of skills and reading to learn. So that'll be fun and exciting. I have a red meeting this morning, which stands for review of existing data. It is for a referral for one of my students and that begins in about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna putz around here, get some things ready for the day because I am not gonna be in here much longer. I will be in that meeting until school begins. So I wanna make sure I have everything prepped for the morning before I leave. Hey guys, so it is prep time. Kids are at recess, not recess, Kids are at PE for the next 10 minutes. So I just got back from the copy room and I made all my copies for next week. Super pumped about that. I still need to finish writing lesson plans. And then I have this basket of grading to grade and enter because progress reports are going home on Monday. So I need to get that done. Uh, what else? So I think I'm just gonna sit down and try to type up some lesson plans for next week and then I will try to tackle the grading. Hey guys, it is Thursday evening. I am at home and it has been an extremely long day. I woke up at 5 a.m. I got cash to the babysitter by 7. Got to work by 7.30. Had an IEP meeting. Well, it's not IEP. I had a red meeting 
which is basically like an IEP meeting. Um, then taught the whole day, left work at three to pick up cash, took him to my mother-in-law's house, went back to work until six, went back to my mother-in-law's house to pick up cash, didn't get home till about seven-ish, 7.15-ish. Didn't get baby down until about 8.30. And I'm going to Prescott tomorrow, so I had to pack myself, I had to pack cash, I had to pack all the stuff for a weekend away with a baby. Make myself dinner. I'm almost done packing myself, and then I'm going to sit down and edit this vlog, because now or never. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you want more updates, like more recent and more frequent updates, follow me on my Instagram, which is apples and tiaras, and I will have it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and for bearing with me when I'm not consistent with my videos. And just thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next one.